This is the homework for lesson one of module six for third grade. Get your name on here first. The tally chart shows uh, below shows a survey of students' favorite pets. Each tally mark represents one student's, so one student voting. And so we're looking at all the tally marks. Our first question is right here. Is the chart shows a total of how many students? So it looks like each you know each student voted and went up. And you've probably done something like this in your class at, in school at one time or another. We just everybody goes up and they make their mark, and then everybody has one vote. <clears throat> and then you see who the favorite pets are. Well, if everybody voted one time, then all you have to do is count the votes to see how many students there are. So here we have. Six, and you could just count them. We have six here, four here, two there. This is eight, and that's two. So if we're just looking at these numbers and adding them. Uh, of course, with tallies, we could just sort of group them and count them. But I see a 10 here and a 10 there, and then two more is 22. And then use the tally chart in problem one, which is what we just looked at, to complete the graph below. The first one has been done for you. And so here's our title. It's still its favorite pets. And you'll notice some things right away, not to make too much of a point of it, but you'll see favorite pets in the table. So that's the title for the graph. And then we have, you know, pets. The names of the different kinds of pets here. We have the different kinds of pets here. And then the tally marks here are replaced by circles going up. And now this is important when you do these that it's like um, it's like a line plot where you're making these circles. You have to start at the bottom and you try and make all your circles the same size and keep them evenly spaced so that it's almost like you're making an array. Uh, so let's see. How many turtles were there? There were four. One, two, three, four. And I'm just checking to see that this four here is about even with my four, and it looks like it is. You don't have to draw that line yourself. You could use a ruler or the edge of an envelope or uh, a cereal box or anything, really. Even a, even a uh, receipt. Um, a scrap of paper would do it. Let's see. Fish two of those a straight edge going across will just show you if if you have columns and rows for your for your um, pictograph dogs are eight of those one two three four five six seven eight All right and that's about that looks good. Lizards, there's two of those. And don't forget this. Don't forget to look at this key. These are always important that each circle represents one student. The same number of. Now we can just look at the graph to answer all the questions. The same number of students picked. What and what is their favorite pet? We're looking for words here. Fish and lizards both had two, so that's got to be, they're the same. So it's fish and lizards. Now you notice for a lot of these data questions, and I'm, I'm going to say this at every homework assignment, the numbers are small that you have to count. They're they're really easy numbers to work with, so it looks like it's a really simple task. But if you don't read these questions carefully, you won't have a chance. You really, I mean, it's gonna, it looks like sometimes it's a lot easier than it really is. You really have to just slow down and read the question carefully, and it will be easy. How many students pick dogs as their favorite pet? Well, okay, we figured out that's eight already. And now this is really, this is a word problem. And we already have, you know, we already have a picture. The graph is the picture. So I'm going to write a answer statement. Um, 
it was eight, right? So I'm gonna say eight. Nope, it's eight students, not eight dogs. Eight students picked dogs. How many more students chose cats than turtles? So you see the cats had three, four, five. The cats had six and turtles had four. So here's one where I have, an, I can write uh, not just the answer statement, but also I can write a number sentence. So it's the difference. We're asking what's the difference between the six cats and the four turtles. It's, so it's six minus four equals two. So two more students chose cats than turtles. Now we're, we're making a tally chart in problem one again to make the picture graph below and I'm um, right away I'm suspicious I'm like how come I'm making the same picture pictograph again except now I'm using squares instead of circles what's the big deal the big deal is this that each one is now two students so let's go back up here and let's see six four two eight and two six four two eight and two I'm just going to write this here. If you're lucky enough that you have single sided pages, six, four, two, eight, and two. You don't have to write those there, but I'm doing it just so I can remember because I don't have, I don't have single sided pages. I can't look at both of them at once. So since each square is two students, it's going to be, and remember, it's not two cats and two turtles and two fish. I'm counting students who voted. So it's important to remember that when you start answering questions about it, it's going to matter when you write your answer statements. So here we go. Cats are two, four, six. Turtles are two, four. Fish, there's two. Dogs, there's two, four. I mean, I can do better than that because those dogs are kind of floating in the air. <laughs> uh, two, four, six, eight. And then lizards are also two, same as the fish. What does each square represent? Each square is two it's not two animals it's two student votes or two students either way will get you all the points how many students does five squares represent write a number sentence to show how you know all right, so each one of these is a two. So it's two plus two plus two plus two plus two equals two, four, six, eight, ten. It represents. And students well you could probably just do this too <laughs> two and that could probably be all that be, be all the answer you need all right how many more squares did you draw for dogs than for fish write a number sentence to show how many more students chose dogs than fish okay so there's two questions here how many more squares you draw for dogs and fish so that's 
four squares for dogs and one for fish. So that's four minus one equals three. But hey, if it's easy, don't complain about it. Um, I drew three more squares for dogs. Then fish and write a number sentence to show how many more students chose dogs than fish. So with dogs, it's right, can we remember with dogs? It's twice as many, so it's eight minus two equals six. So six more. Students chose dogs.